that what we need? That'll work. Okay, what do we have here? I have no idea. <laughs> is that close? Yeah, it's pretty close. <laughs> this is a Subaru cylinder head. Cylinder head. Yep, off of a naturally aspirated EJ25 motor. What did you just call me? <laughs> so this is Anthony. He actually moved in next door to us and they... What is it exactly that you guys do? Oh, we just mess around, man. <laughs> Performance upgrades on cars, Nissan Skylines, 240SXs, we do a little bit of pro drifting, a little bit of cage building, and a whole lot of partying. So, so just some simple stuff then? Yeah, just the easy stuff. So the plan is we're going to cut it right down here, we'll uh, hit the that thingy there that's got a whirly gig, a whirly gig in it, and then we'll also uh, kind of graze these... Uh, Subwoofers. Those subwoofers right here, just kind of graze those. Sized waistband cotton gusset. You don't need underpants with it. It is full control, tummy control, butt lift, Control down over your thigh, but that sexy leg to go along with it. So our Lick Test approved t-shirts are still available, and these shirts will only be available until March 4th. After that, this design will no longer be available. So if you want it, click down in the description. There's a link there. Order that shirt right now. It'll be a limited, super rare shirt in like a year, probably. It'll be worth so much. That's uh, that's about an inch thick, three quarter to an inch thick. Let's reveal. Let's Very see who was reveal. right. What is it from? Oh yeah, that's definitely a snowmobile. You can tell by the way that it is. That cut through. All right. All right. All right. All right. The springs are still. We kind of. Barely nicked it. We nicked that spring right there and barely <coughs> nicked that one. Those ones just got a good sand blasting, so they're probably still under their full tension. Okay, uh, so tell us how this works. Uh, okay, so you've got it mounted now. How are we going to do this? Okay, I'm going to lick it. I'm not good with words, so then I'm gonna lick Anthony and Anthony will tell you. He, he's kind of your spokesperson? Exactly. Okay. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay, that was really unpleasant. <laughs> we cut a cylinder head, obviously. You saw that part. And this is actually the intake, so if you come over here, so this is the spot here where the fuel air mixture will flow in and then if you look at this side you can see where it divides and goes into the two separate valves. When the camshaft rotates, as you can see by our cross section now that we have here, I can get my wrench to work. So as the camshaft rotates, basically the lobes here are going to come into contact with the top of this bucket. So here's your bucket, here's your camshaft, and then as you can see the camshaft has a lobe. So it's going to rotate around and it's going to make contact with that and actually push the valve open. So you can see that's about how high your valve opens and you can see that that's where the mixture is going to come through here where we were pointing before and out of this valve. So as this camshaft rotates, it'll open and close these intake valves. If we had the other piece, it would be opening and closing the exhaust valves as well. And as you can see, now that we're rotating it further, it's opening and closing those valves as well. Also, the cool thing to see on this is, if you look here, we have our buckets. So we talked about our lobe touching our buckets. Well, the buckets are on top of the actual valve spring. And the valve stem sits inside of the valve spring. And then if you look down here, you can kind of see the different parts, like your valve seat and your actual valve. Wow. And then if you rotate over to here, 
This is actually where your cylinder would be sitting, is right here. That's where it makes boom boom, right? This is where the horse pressure comes out of, brother. <laughs> And that is how a uh, head works so, on a Subaru. Subaru head, yep. You sure know a lot, Mitchell. Indeed. There you go, and hopefully you learned it something from this video because Mitchell is a great teacher. I'm learning. Aw, oh, way to go, Ralph. <laughs>